Hi everybody. I have something very interesting to show you guys today who work on lawnmowers or you have a, a push mower that um, you bought um, or you're trying to repair your own. And it's a Briggs & Stratton engine. It's the old style uh, Pulsa Jet uh, tank and carburetor. That's the carburetor, that's the tank. And um, I ordered a brand new tank for a, an old Briggs engine that I was salvaging. And uh, I was very excited. The brand new tank came in. I couldn't repair the old one because I'll show you this one is, sometimes I can repair them with JB Weld. But this one is so rusted out that yeah, I, did, I just ordered a new one. So it came in and uh, shiny black, beautiful new thing. Put it on the mower, um, put the fuel in the, in the gas tank. It came pre-assembled, the carburetor was on it. And I pushed the bulb and nothing. And I thought, oh, it just hadn't drawn anything up yet. I pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. And after about 20 pushes, I thought, it's another one of the cheap Chinese carburetors. It's not going to work. It's not gonna work. I'll just throw it away, which is what people do, or they just get frustrated and they'd say to hell with it and they throw away the mower. But what I found is, is that <clears throat> there is one very specific thing that happens with these carburetors that is a defect. And um, when you push the bulb on a, a pulse jet carburetor, it, it creates a vacuum when you, when you push the air out, the bulb then creates the vacuum and it draws fuel up. And then when you push it again, then it pushes that fuel out that small opening in the carburetor. Well, the reason this is not working is because that assembly that makes that happen is a tiny little spring and then a ball bearing, a small one that sits on top of that and then the uh, needle seat which sits on top of that. So you've got three things in there. And the bulb is pushing against all that and the metal ball up against that spring goes in when you push on it and allows the fuel to go through and then it shuts again when you let off and that draws more fuel up. Well, with these Chinese carburetors, that whole assembly falls apart <laughs> and it's never going to prime and it's inside this little red ball and I'm going to show that to you now because this is what happens. Um, under this red bulb if you take yours apart it has failed and it's not priming remove this and you'll see just what I found on this one all the pieces are laying in there they've all just exploded out and are laying so you've got um, a there's the ball bearing there's the spring that the ball bearing sits on top of and this is a black needle seat it's hard to see and the whole thing's just come apart. And, uh, and you think, oh, I'll fix that. And so you put, and this is the order it goes in, you put the spring in, and then you put the ball in, and then you put the needle seat on top of it with the ridge side up, and you go and you think, oh, it's repaired, and then it all falls apart again inside the bulb, and you're right back where you started. So in case you're wondering why your Chinese carburetor won't prime, that's why. So uh, sometimes you can reassemble and it'll work, sometimes not. And, uh, uh, but I thought you might be interested in knowing what happens when these things fail. And it's brand new, but that's what happens because it's so poorly made, that assembly just falls apart inside, inside under the bulb. All right, so there's your tip for the day. Stay tuned, leave me a comment, and please follow on uh, YouTube. Thanks.